Split thickness skin grafting is commonly indicated for wounds that are unable to be closed primarily. It is contraindicated if there is an active infection, underlying cancer, or lack of coverage directly over bone, nerve vessels, or tendon. It is also commonly not indicated directly over joints. For this procedure, you'll need the materials listed here. The mineral oil is applied to the donor site in order to allow the dermatome to slide easily over this. In addition, a wound vac or bolster will be used on the recipient site and a telfa soaked in epinephrine is generally recommended for the donor site to minimize ongoing bleeding. Now we measure the recipient field after this has been adequately debrided and prepared. Measurement will have to be adjusted while drawing this on the donor site if using meshing. The adjustment will depend on the meshing ratio. Here's my final measurements drawn on the patient's ipsilateral thigh for harvest. The thickness is set on the dermatome as so, and we can check this with a 15 blade that fits just perfectly through the slot. After mineral oil is applied to the donor site, the dermatome is turned on and comes down at approximately 45 degrees to where it hits the skin. Constant downward pressure is applied so this doesn't skip on the skin and create holes in the skin graft. The skin is being held tightly on the far side in order to provide as smooth of a surface as possible. As we get to the end of the donor site, we lift up at again approximately a 45 degree angle and allow this to stop. The donor site now looks like this with the top layer removed. I quickly cover this with a telfa dressing soaked in epinephrine with marcaine in order to minimize ongoing blood loss. I later switch this out for a zero form dressing which I will leave on until this is dry.